What's up? Hi, YouTube. My name is Linnea, and I have been thinking lately that I should follow my dreams. Because on YouTube, I watch Sarah Ray Vargas, sometimes Glam. I mean, a bajillion other fashion bloggers, plus size fashion bloggers. And I was thinking, like, hey, why not? Like, I'm, I always think of how cool their lives are. And yet, you know, like, why can't I make my dreams happen? Or at least try. <laughs> so, I thought I would introduce myself and also kind of share a little bit of my life story. I was thinking um, how it's like growing up and having to find clothes you know like it was hard so I mean I figure a lot of people can relate especially growing up in the 2000s so I thought I would share my story and hopefully you guys like it I have some plus size fashion hauls coming up I have some from Fashion Nova Boohoo Fashion to Figure I mean I just kind of, I feel like I just got a little bit from everywhere, so I mean, it's going to be exciting. Um, but I, if there's certain places you guys want me to uh, haul, just let me know. I mean, you know, I'm just starting out, but hey, like, I, I don't mind receiving some ideas, and I mean, I got my own stuff that I have planned, and it's going to be exciting, but I figure you know what why not I would love to hear people's input so um well let's get into it like I whenever I was growing up I was mainly the only plus size person in my family and uh I have two brothers and I have four sisters and uh my all my sisters are very skinny three of them are like identical twins <laughs> even though they're like like six or eight years apart um <laughs> but they just are small a little and petite but obviously I'm not I'm I'm big um I'm a size like 22 24 and uh I am five I am five foot seven and I mean and I have lots of freckles. I mean, come on, you can see them, right? <laughs> um, but it was it was hard uh, growing up because I I would always compare myself, especially to my sisters, you know. Because I mean, you look up to them and you want to be just like them. But I, I just I wasn't. <laughs> and I mean, I know now, like I I like that I was different, but. I mean, back then when you're a little kid, you have different thoughts, obviously. So like around Christmas time, we would get pajamas um, on Christmas Eve. It's just kind of one of our traditions. And I just remember growing up, like everyone would be opening theirs. And I was like, and, I, and then I wait for mine. And I, I realized I was like, oh, mine's kind of different. You know, like, and I can't be like, oh, I hated my gifts. Because I mean, I still loved them. But I just, I just had that like little thought of just like, oh, well. All my other sisters had matching but I had to add something different like it just kind of sucked like I, I don't want to be ungrateful but I mean that's just kind of how I felt you know like you can't blame me for how I feel you know um, but it's not only just like around Christmas and stuff it would be like school shopping just growing up we would go to like Kohl's or JC Penney's and I would go over to the junior section so excited ready for new clothes for the new school year and then I would go, I would pick up all the things that I'm like, oh, this looks like it'll fit me. This looks like it will fit me. Get all the biggest sizes, go try them on, and then they would not fit. And I was devastated. And, like, obviously my mom could see that. She's like, okay, well, let's just go check the women's. Let's just, you know, let's go see if they have anything good. And I was like, well, okay. Like, I mean, it doesn't hurt to look. So I looked, I found some stuff. It was, I got a lot of like basic things, just basic like black colors and stuff. But 
like it was just bad experiences over these years it's just like i had to shop in different sections usually the women's and when i was like not even in high school yet like it just was it it was hard because i didn't want to i wanted to look just like everyone else like everyone did they wanted to be like everyone else so i had this amazing friend in high school and she really pulled me out of my shell like i like my more my wardrobe consisted of sweatpants t-shirts hoodies and like maybe a couple items from torrid because that was the only plus size store that i knew and i but you know i mean i couldn't afford a lot of torrid so i just buy pieces and pieces there you know i couldn't go and just buy a whole new wardrobe you know not everyone ever can do that but i definitely couldn't and so i had a couple pieces but I would, I would literally wear like a fancy shirt with sweatpants <laughs> and uh, just, I don't know why I did that. But when I met this friend, she, she just kind of showed me the way and just showed me how amazing that I, I am. And I, and how I tried so many different things. Like then I started trying different beauty things. Like I would do so many different things to my hair. Like it was. I mean that's probably why it's a little thinner now <laughs> but like because I would do it at home <laughs> but I really uh, I really just kind of bloomed I guess it was it was awesome and she really helped me become the person I am today where I'm very passionate about beauty and makeup and fashion I think I said fashion I don't know but, um, she made me very passionate about beauty and fashion and I, and I figure I can be just like Sarah and sometimes glam I forgot her first name <laughs> um, but I feel like I could be like them like it's I can just show like my side of the fashion and how I feel about it if you want to consider subscribing just like mark rober says um i love that he says that so it's better than being go subscribe <laughs> like please consider it you know like <laughs> i don't know so please consider subscribing and uh i'll try to post a video in the next couple days